Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Before I start the shave, I just want to say that my thoughts, and I'm sure the thoughts of all the wet shaving community, go out to the people uh, in Manchester who were killed, uh, the families of those victims, uh, of the injured as well. Uh, just uh, wanted to know that we're all thinking of you at this sad, sad time. Okay, back to the shave. Um, I'm going to start today's shave with the Gentleman's Groom Room Shave Prep Plus. This is a unrefined shea butter. Um, you just wet the face a little bit. Uh, take out a small bit, like so. Um, put it into your hands and melt it in your hands with the warmth of your hand. And this is a, a nice scent. <clears throat> it has uh, lavender and stuff in it. Lavender and stuff. That doesn't really describe what's in it. Yeah, so it's uh, it's been a while. It's been a little while since I've seen you. I have been shaving still as you can see, because it's probably been about two weeks since I've put out my last video, but um, it's been really busy here in the Kevy household. We've been getting some work done on the house, uh, some new doors and new flooring and stuff put in, and um, yeah, I've just, I've just not had time to film a shave and um, edit it and upload it and stuff like that. So apologies, but um, the work is now finished. Uh, and I am back shaving in front of the camera. So welcome to this, the Kevy Shaves Nut House. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Um, in between that, I did do, uh, I recorded a live shave on YouTube. Now I know some of you were commenting that they missed it um, and hands up, it's my fault. Uh, what I was going to record a short video to say, okay, I'm going to be live tomorrow, but again, <laughs> I didn't have time um, just to do that, so I apologise. If I do another live shave, I promise, I promise you have my word that I will record a video beforehand letting everyone know, all my subscribers, that you'll get a notification saying Kevy's uploaded a video and it will be, okay, I'm going to be doing a live shave, just a minute or two. Um, not the live shave won't be a minute or two. The video announcing the live shave <sighs> will be a minute or two. <laughs> Gee whiz. Okay, the brush for today is this. This is the Gentleman's Groom Room Shellen number 24. There's 50 of these in the world. This is a Badger brush. Fantastic brush. GR stands for Groom Room. 50 of these in the world. I'll just put that in the water to get some moisture into the knot. The razor for today is this. This is the uh, Fat Tip Grande. And I'll just show you here. Um, quite an aggressive razor. It's an open comb as you can see. Uh, and there's the blade. You can see quite a lot of blade exposure there. Beautiful razor this. Yeah, really nice. Well made. Hollow handle. Uh, three piece comes apart like that. You unscrew the handle, that comes off, and inside that I have a second use on a Gillette Wilkinson sword, um, which I will show you the wrapper in just a second. Just checking that the blade alignments all good, and that looks good. Uh, yeah, there it is there. I really like these long kind of lugs that the, these posts to hold the blade in. Yeah, it's a beautiful razor, very well made. Not too heavy, but quite aggressive, so I wanted to use some pre-shave. Uh, there's the blade wrapper, and there's the blade packet. Gillette Wilkinson sword. Um, and you'll have to excuse my fingers because, as you can see, they look, <laughs> I 
I've been doing some work as well in the house, so yeah. Okay, today's soap that we're going to be using is a very, very special soap. <clears throat> um, this is a, I'll just show you. This is Stash Soapworks Liam Cruz. Uh, now, Liam Cruz, this is Liam here. Liam Cruz is the son of Rodney McAlpin, otherwise known as Cap on YouTube. Cap puts out some uh, wonderful videos, he does the live shaves. Um, but Liam was recently diagnosed with autism. Um, and Erica Salmons at Stash Soapworks, she has put out this soap. She's made this soap for Liam and 100%, 100% of the profits from the sale of this. Profits? Well, 100% from the sale. Everything that everyone pays for the soap. Uh, and there's balm, uh, I think there's an aftershave, and I think there's a bath soap and stuff like that. Everything in the line of Liam Cruz, 100% of that goes to Cap and his family to pay for the care for, for Liam Cruz um, because it is quite an expensive thing looking after a kid with autism, medical bills and stuff like that um, and Cap State, I think it's Tennessee um, some different states in the, in the US don't kind of support that sort of thing, I'm not exactly sure how it works but um, this is the soap um, and let me tell you about this uh, Ian at the gentleman's groom room here in Dundee he bought 10 of these soaps from Erica so he bought the, soap, the soaps and had them shipped over to here to Dundee but he can't sell them in his shop because of the EU regulations all the soaps in the UK have to be passed through EU regs and obviously with this soap being from the States um, that's not going to happen so what Ian's done is he's bought the soaps and he's asking for a donation for each soap uh, and then each donation will then be added to the cost that he's already bought already paid for the soaps so um, Rodney or Cap and his family We'll get um, a donation twice for all these soaps. Uh, yeah, so that's a, a great thing for Ian to do. Um, I think Ian's going to be having a meet-up pretty soon at the groom room and he's saving the soaps until then, but he let me have this one just so I can use on video. Well, he didn't let me have it. I made a donation <laughs> So um, for the soap. So let me just show you the soap. And there's little Liam on the front there. That's what he looks like. The Liam Cruz McAlpine or McAlpin. Okay, there's the soap there. Wonderful scent. Mandarin, lime, grapefruit. Very citrusy. Very nice. Okay, I'll show you guys on the bottom the ingredients and you can pause it there. Okay, so there's the soap. Um, yeah, and I'll put all the links to uh, the Etsy site for Stash Soap Works and you can go and have a look at all the um, Liam Cruz line of products. Okay, the brush. Shake it three times so it's still wet. I'm just going to go right into the puck. Look at that right away. Yeah, so I have been busy in the Kevy house. Yeah, the grapefruit in this is fantastic. Uh, and apologies again, I've not been putting out videos, but the live shave was great fun. Um, I'm really sorry for those of you that missed it. I should have put a video up and I do apologize yet again. But this is uh, lathering up. Very well, look at it spilling out all the tub. Very nice. And you can see that pre-shave kind of glistening a little bit. Okay, that looks like a nice load. Okay, let's uh, lather up. Yeah, it's a wonderful scent, this soap. You can really smell the grapefruit and the mandarin and the lime. It's just a lovely balance of scents.
Um, scent strength, I would probably say straight out the tub. When you open the tub and smell it without lathering, maybe about a six. Uh, once it's lathered, about an eight. So a nice strong scent. And just dipping the tips of the brush. And I know from in the past using stash soap works soaps that um, there's not going to be any problems with slickness. Cushion and glide, etc. And there's a hair from the brush. Did I get it? There it is. Yeah, so a wonderful gesture from Ian at the gentleman's groom room. That looks like a nice ladder. Um, I'm not exactly sure when the meetup is going to be the Scottish Wet Shavers meetup at the gentleman's groom room in Dundee. Okay, fact up grandy with the Gillette Wilkinson sword, second use, just let me get some heat into that blade. And I'm going to start on this side because I always start on this side, or do I? Is it that side or that side? I can't remember. But I'm going to start on this side. And this is an aggressive razor, so. But that is a wonderfully slick soap. And listen to the feedback. That's another hair from the brush. Yeah. How y'all doing? I hope you're all well and uh We've been having some good shaves since the last time I seen you. Which was a couple of weeks ago now. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the link for the live shave. I'll put that in the description. And anyone that wants to see the live shave that I recorded, uh, you can go and check it out. The only reason I didn't put it up on my channel is um, you can't see the comments. People comment, and, but it doesn't come up on the on the YouTube uh, video for some reason. I don't know why. So it's kind of, if people are asking questions, you won't be able to see what they're asking unless I, um, unless I announce every question that's, that comes up. But there was some, uh, there were some people came in, Paul H dropped in. Uh, I don't know if you're watching this, Paul, but if you are, thank you very much for that. Uh, as did Buster. Buster dropped in for a, a little while for people to chat to. And that was very good. Yeah, you can uh, you can feel the blade with this razor. Like that. Didn't rinse it out properly there. Yeah, you can uh, feel the blade, but it's a nice shave. Wow, the slickness from that soap is very good. Okay, let me just rinse off, and then we'll come straight back for more ch ch chat chat chat. Okay, that's rinsed off. Just uh, go for the second pass now. <laughs> yeah, this is a lovely citrusy scent. Um, just dipping the tips. The grapefruit, mandarin, and lime. Lovely. A nice 
a summary scent for the Scottish summer. Where's the sun gone? <laughs> Thank you for all the comments uh, since the last video, um, some really nice ones um, and hello to any new subscribers watching for the first time. Um, nice to have you along here and hello to all my regular viewers, you know who you are. That's that out of the way. <laughs> okay, pass number two across the growth of the hair. And is this as aggressive as the Mule R41? That's an easy answer, no. I am... Um, I've actually sold my R41. Yeah, I wasn't enjoying it. Um, I tried it a few times, and it was uh, it was just too aggressive for me. It wasn't comfortable. Um, some people love it. Some people swear by it. Um, but it wasn't comfortable. It, it, it wasn't. It, sometimes it gave me a comfortable shave, but uh, depending on the blade and stuff like that. But. Most of the time it was it was quite uncomfortable, it wasn't a joy to use, so I passed it on. It always seemed to be on the first pass. For me with the R41, the first pass was always really rough feeling. But this isn't as aggressive, this is an aggressive razor. Make no mistake about that. You can certainly feel the blade, but it's nowhere near the uh, the R41. And this is my little trouble spot area, so that's the reason I'm going this way. Yeah, this is a fat tip grand, or grande. You also get a fat tip piccolo, which I think has a, a solid handle, but it's the same, same head on it. Okay, that's the second pass done. That feels excellent, very nice. Okay, let me just rinse and I will come straight back. Back for pass number three, and uh, I'm just going to gather a little bit more soap in the puck here. That will do. Dip the tips. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's a wonderfully deep citrus scent. It's uh, quite strong, but you can really smell the grapefruit uh, and mixed with the mandarin and the lime, it's very nice. Yeah, like I said, I'll put all the links to um, the things that are relevant to the shave. I think there's a it's like a giving page or something, uh, some kind of giving page for Liam Cruz, which I'll put, but um, also the Etsy site for Star Soapworks, where you can take a look. And uh, like I said, 100% of the sales of this line, the Liam Cruz stuff, goes to Cap, goes to Rodney and his family. I think it's Chrissy, his wife. I hope that's right, Rodney. <laughs> And apologies if it's not Chrissy. Your wife will be like, who's Chrissy? <laughs> okay. 
Pass number three against the green. The green. Yeah, and it's one of these razors where you can, uh, yeah, look, there's a little stop there. You really, it really tests your technique. Especially with uh, no pressure. Yeah, look, there's a couple of weepers there. Obviously my uh, fair Scottish skin can't handle an aggressive razor. <laughs> Just being very careful over the Adam's apple area. I'm going to go against the grain on this little trouble spot. This is a wonderful uh, slick soap. Nice. Okay, let me just have a little rinse. Three passes done. Very nice. Yeah, the usual little spots for the pickups around here, which I shall just do now. And on my chin. And you'll hear it as I go. I've got like a little, can you see like a little spot thing there? I don't know what it is. It's probably with eating too much sugar. <laughs> but hey, I'm Scottish, right? Yeah, the Scots have an incredibly sweet tooth. Just when you think there's enough sugar in your <laughs> desserts. No, put some sugar on top. I remember we had a kid at school and uh, he used to put sugar on his Frosties. <laughs> sugar on his Frosties. Wow, as if they're not sweet enough. I don't know if he's still got all his teeth. Probably not. <laughs> okay, let me have just a little rinse and feel about. That feels nice. Yeah, very nice. Okay, let me just scoop what's left of the soap in the brush. Rub it into my face. Get some good properties from the ingredients. And I'll have a rinse with hot water, cold water. And then I shall see you guys for the post shave. Lovely, lovely, citrusy, citrus. Okay. Nice shave. Witch hazel, Thayer's lemon. Just a little spot. 
splash on this. Oh, that feels nice. To go with the, the citrusness. Citrusness, is that even a word? <laughs> yeah, it is now. It's a, these words will be known as Keviisms. Citrusness. Wow. <laughs> nice shave. Yeah, which hazel feels great on your face after a shave. Don't ask me why, it just does. Lovely. There's. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put on now some aftershave. The only thing I could find that's kind of citrusiness ish based is a uh, fine l'orange noir. Yeah, so I'm gonna have a little splash of this. I've not used it in a while. This is based on Terra Dermes and it's a beautiful scent. Kind of orangey, vetiver, and it uh, has some menthol in it. Not much of a tingle at all. Oh, that's a beautiful scent. Very nice. I don't know why I smacked my face like that there. Just, oh, I just... Uh, That is excellent. And uh, usually the menthol goes for my eyes, but this doesn't uh, feel too bad at the moment. You see, two minutes I'll be like, <laughs> okay, fine, love Ange Noir. Uh, and to finish it off, I'm going to use some, uh, well, a little sample of this. This is Sterling Unscented Pole Shave Balm. Uh, and you can see the level there. I've not used too much of it. I always use too much of this, so I'm just going to try and use a little bit today. That much. Let's see if that's enough. Yep. Looks like you've done it right this time, Kevy. Well done. Thank you. Nice, nice shave. Very close with the uh, Fat Tip Grandy, which is a quite, a, as I said, quite an aggressive razor. But a very close shave and uh, no irritation. This looks very red down here, but I think it's just because I've been rubbing stuff on it. It's not sore or hot. Feels great. Okay, that's all for today. Let's see what we've used. I'm going to show you what we have used. <laughs> we started the shave off with the Gentleman's Groom Room Shave Prep Plus Fantastic. Yeah, this is an unrefined shea butter. Very good. Very, very good. Glass jar. The razor for today, Fat Tip Grande. Or Fat Tip Grand. However you want to call it. Quite an aggressive razor, quite a bit of blade exposure there, open combs. Very good, very close, comfortable shave. Uh, and inside that I had a Gillette Wilkinson sword on its second use. Uh, the brush for today, a little Shellen, the Gentleman's Groom Room Limited Edition Badger brush. Excellent brush. Fantastic. Yeah, very good. Uh, made by Shave Mark. Uh, Shellen is Scots Gaelic for honeybee. And there's the brush there. Very good. The soap for today, star of the show. Stash Soap Works, Liam Cruz. Yeah, and uh, I'll just show you there. This is for Cap's son. Liam Cruz, uh, who's been diagnosed with autism and all the sales from this line of products of the Liam Cruz from Stash Soapworks, it all goes to Cap and his family to help 
towards the costs of looking after little Liam. Um, yeah, so very good. Very good soap. Great. I really like that label. Really cool. Yeah. So as I said, I'll put the links in the description and you can go and check out everything. Uh, and please show your support if you can. Excellent. Uh, we then rinsed off with hot water, cold water, and then applied some Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel, some fine L'Orange Noir, which was excellent. And a little wafer there. Uh, then we finished it off with the Sterling Unscented Post Shave Balm. But all in all, a good shave. Kerry's happy. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. It's nice to be back here shaving in front of the camera for you guys, for everyone to to share. Yeah, I guess we'll share it. Uh, yeah, but well, very close shave. As you can see. Uh, until the next time, have yourselves a great rest of this week. Uh, enjoy what you're doing, enjoy your shaves. Remember, hide those products because we don't want... Okay, <laughs> that's all for me for today. Uh, until the next time, take care of yourselves and uh, see you soon.